Hello everyone, this is Sarvik and this video is all about the tutorial of Bloodhound. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. And guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. So guys, Bloodhound is one of the most used tool during the Active Directory pen test. So whenever you're doing some Active Directory pen testing or whatever it is. So uh, most of the time you might be, you might got access like a normal user. So a, a domain user with some limited uh, like privileges. But uh, the ultimate aim is the ultimate goal in any kind of pen test or whatever it is, is to obtain the high privileges. Okay. And in the Active Directory, the main goal is to like, uh, uh, like uh, own the domain controller, like owning the max part. So, and here the Bloodhound is one such tool. So this tool uh, is not all about exploitation or something like that. This tool is about like uh, gathering the information for enumeration and part. So let us assume you got an access like a normal user and uh, you can use this particular tool. Okay. And you can try to gather more information and uh, you can use that information. Like sometimes, uh, you can find some uh, juicy information as well. So let's start with the installation. So you have like, uh, I, I leave the link for this in the description below. So you can check this out if you want to, but uh, I'm having my own active directory network. Uh, so this is in a virtual uh, in VMware. And if you want to build your own, so I leave the link for the TCM's uh, lab guide in the description below. So it's one of the good thing. And if you don't have enough resources, just try to follow it up. And the first thing you need to do is like install the Bloodhound and you need to also install something called as Neo4j. So Bloodhound uses something, a, a kind of database, so which is Neo4j. So apt install Bloodhound and Neo4j. I already done that and uh, you can also do that. So the next one is like you need to start the database. So Neo4j uh, and type the command console. Okay, so uh, for the first time, so this is like a database guys, like micro, uh, M um, mysql or something like that so uh, let's wait so once you run this particular command so i'm running as a root here but uh, some commands might require sudo so make sure you're adding up them so neo4j console in the sense like you'll be greeted with some kind of uh, the interface and some stuff like that and the, for the first time the password is also the neo4j and you need to change the password uh, so that you can use them effectively and guys, for the first time, it will take some time, okay? And uh, you can see uh, some information, some deep debugging information here. And you can see there is some remote interface available. So you need to open this particular link. So local host and it's running on port 7474. And once you open that link, so you'll be greeted with some page like this. And the username is Neo4j. And the password is also Neo4j. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, 4j and just hit connect. Okay. And for the first time, it will uh, definitely ask you for uh, it will ask you to change the password. So change something password. So I'm putting something which I am remembering, which I remember. Okay, so we can see it's just my name. That's it. So change password and uh, like try to keep the uh, to keep the one which you remember. Okay, so like sometimes I've seen most people forgetting this and uh, they'll get into some issues. And you can see now you are connected as Neo4j and uh, you are good to go. So connection credentials are stored in your web browser. Okay, cool. So one thing we can do is like we can close this browser now. Okay, there is no need to close uh, with the browser and uh, we can open uh, in the new tab. I'll open the Bloodhound. Okay, so Bloodhound, you can simply type like Bloodhound or you can try to access it from here as well. Uh, and then guys, you can put your credentials here, which is Neo4j and the password is one you change it to and you can see a prompt like success here. So then uh, you'll be greeted with some Bloodhound page like this. Okay, so it is loading up cause uh, the, uh, the system is kind of slow cause I'm running with Windows Server as well as Windows machine at a time. So here what you require is some kind of a data set. So guys, we are done setting up uh, like we done installation part like we installed the Neo4j and then the Bloodhound and I can see some content here. So uh, the process is kind of uh, like almost the same and uh, we can see that it's opened and we already discussed that it requires some kind of a data set so that uh, it can show you some stuff visual, uh, visually like this. Okay, so how uh, you can uh, gather that information are like there are some ways like there is something called a sharp bound. Okay, so like let us assume you got some command line access to your target system. Okay, uh, with some uh, domain user 
uh, privileges so you can run this particular sharp count so you'll find all the links here okay so in the in the, this in this particular thing as well but the thing that i really like here is like and i recently discovered this is like with the help of a uh, python bloodhound so you need to install this first of all so uh, how to do is simple so pip3 uh, pip3 install and uh, bloodhound just type like this so with the help of this particular step we can try to uh, gather the like the data set okay so you can open the link here so related to this particular we call this something like ingestures so you can see it up there so we call something like ingestures so ingestors are something like uh, they try to obtain the information okay so in the form of uh, some kind of a, you call it a data set you can call it something like that and this is nothing but a python guys so a python script so i'll show you how you can run this as well okay or here itself you got the information like you need to provide the username so let us take the scenario where you got a username and password so and you need to provide the name server so name server in the sense like provide the name of uh, your uh, provide the ip address of your domain controller so which uh, like uh, domain controller acts as uh, like dns most of the time and provide the uh, this particular thing like uh, uh, the domain and uh, you need to provide the collection method so i'll provide all so anything is fine okay so it is done here so installation is done so running is simple so blood uh, hound uh, python and provide the username which is f casual in my in my case so and the password is uh, password one which is a uh, lot secure okay and i'm just kidding guys don't put some passwords like this and the pass and the ip address of this uh, domain control so 192.168 uh, dot 142 dot 148 i guess okay and you can go ahead and you can verify it okay from here so i'll just try to verify it once again cause like i don't want to waste any more time so yeah it's 142.148 and uh and what's more left i think you need to provide the domain so domain is uh, marvel.local so these stuff are going to be different guys so and the collection method is also collection in the sense like the process of collecting the stuff and let me hit enter so now you can see it is going to take some amount of time uh, not much you can see it is trying it will show you some debugging information as well and if there is any error it will straight up show you some kind of an error or some kind of warning but you can see everything is fine here so marvel.local and you can see the name uh, which is the punisher so the machine the name of this particular windows 10 uh, client or this particular windows 10 machine in this network is the punisher so you can see dot marvel.local and hydra dc is the name of this domain controller and some information if i do an ls here so you can see there are some uh, 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 like some fine kind of json files here so computers domains groups and users so let's go to our bloodhound and uh, we'll We'll try to uh, upload the data and uh, uh, let's go to this uh, let's go to the uh, location where it is available okay so these are the location okay and let me click on open so you can see uh, you'll get some kind of an up, uh, upload progress kind of thing you can see if it is done 100 percent okay it means that you are probably done okay so like just wait for some time and you can see upload is completed for all this stuff so let me uh, close this thing up okay so and now you can see there is a three uh, uh, more info menu here so click on that and now you can see a lot of information here so like uh, users how many users groups like node information analysis okay like uh, you can go to the database and you can see a lot of information like uh, uh, like how many users are there how many groups are there and something like that see guys this particular uh, network that i'm showing you is a small network so there is nothing much you can see but you can go to uh, something called as analysis here like you can see find if you click on these are some kind of uh, options here you can click on uh, click on here like this okay so let me close this up and you can see i choose an option in the analysis like find all domain admins so you can see uh, how many domain admins are there so you can see there is an a domain admin called as sql service okay at the rate marvel.local and one is tstar and one is administered at the rate of marvel.local so you can double click on them and you can uh, like you can select them and you can go to the node info and you can see some information about this particular user 
okay so you can see in the description uh, like in during the lab phase uh, it is built in such a way that the password is mentioned in the description and you can see the password is mentioned here like you can simply go there and you can try to find out and you can go to the uh, like uh, let me close this once again uh, if you want to close it just click on this three uh, line menu here and uh, you can right click over there and you can see uh, like you can do some kind of information like uh, you can add some kind of information and uh, you can uh, and there are other more uh, analysis part here like there are a lot of uh, stuff here like you can add or write few stuff as well and guys sometimes you made face a uh, face issue with the bloodhound version so the bloodhound version that i'm using uh, i installed it through the help of apt so something like that so you can list almost like there are a lot of stuff you can do so something like uh, kerber roastable accounts so which you can uh, abuse it later with the help of Catbro. so sql service is configured in such a way like you can simply click on them and like you can try to find out uh, a more information guys so i can click on anything like this so something like this and it shows some information if it is not provided uh, it is not available it shows like no data returned or something like that and uh, like this you can play with this stuff and uh, you can see sometime you can find some information and you can see uh, sometimes it might ask you to choose the info uh, like let me close this a bit and uh, you can see some kind of more information here uh, like you can drag it and drop it's like a chart guys okay and later you can down import the graph okay so if you want you can import the graph and you can see how they are related and you can see all the users and how they are related to the marvel.local okay you can see enterprise admins okay and sql service t stark administrator and some there is a computer called as hydra dc so like this you can simply play with these options okay uh like these are some kind of uh, basic queries you can call and you can play with them and you can try to gather as much as possible information with the help of this tool and uh, that is it guys how you can make use of this particular tool and if you can go back to here like that is how you mostly uh, try to find out so sometimes you might find some sensitive information sometimes you might find some information uh, which you can check later so let us take a scenario where uh, we got something like uh, this sql service is related to catbros account so if you go to catbros table accounts you can see sql service is uh, like you can try there is something called as spns and which is related to this sql service so there with the help of that you can try to find out more information and you can even check out how you can exploit it as well okay so that is it guys for uh, this video and uh, if possible i'll try to show this particular uh, how to use this blood uh, bloodhound service on some kind of uh, uh, a capture the flag, uh, flag machine uh, if you want the kind of stuff do let me know and uh, if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.